Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I wanted to talk about my rat egg, and specifically, I wanted to talk about how we've been treating egg's mammary tumor. So I haven't really talked about this before, but egg has been on cabergoline since the end of December, and she has been on it specifically for a mammary tumor. Now, this is my first time treating a rat's mammary tumor with a drug. Uh, usually, I either get them removed, or if the rat is just too unstable to get them removed, then I just wait it out and either have them euthanized when it gets too big, uh, or they pass of other causes. Um, but in this case with egg, I decided to try cabergoline specifically for two reasons. Uh, the first is that I have another rat called Donut who is on cabergoline for a pituitary gland tumor. And cabergoline has been super effective in her case, not only at helping with her pituitary gland tumor, but it's also prevented her from growing more mammary tumors, which, well, Donut is extremely prone to mammary tumors and she had several removed before going on cabergoline. So just not seeing more pop up in the last like five and a half months is amazing. So donut success was one reason I decided to put egg on cabergoline, but the other was honestly just the cost. Uh, surgery in my area can be quite expensive, you're looking at several hundred dollars at least, and cabergoline is like $65 or $75 depending on the dosage in the rat. Uh, so you can definitely get quite a few months of cabergoline for the same cost as a surgery. And if the rat's already old, then that might actually be more beneficial to them uh, because especially if the cabergoline affects their tumors, then you might not have them come back. And so as opposed to doing like multiple surgeries, if the rat responds to cabergoline, then you might not have to do any surgery at all. Anyways, I first noticed egg's mammary tumor back at the end of November and I waited until the end of December to have her put on cabergoline because I was on a trip and I didn't want my pet sitter to have to deal with medicating multiple rats because he was already medicating Donut, which is another of my rats. And so when I returned from my trip, I took Egg to the vet and I requested that she be put on cabergoline instead of doing any sort of surgery or anything else. And my vet was completely fine with that, uh, especially because Donut was already on cabergoline. Anyways, Egg got put on cabergoline at the end of December and and since then she has been getting cabergoline every three days uh, and it's been let's see it's what four and a half months yeah I think it's been around four and a half months at this point maybe closer to five now uh, but anyways egg has been on cabergoline this entire time and her mammary tumor has done really well on it initially I wasn't sure what to expect because I've never had a rat put on cabergoline for mammary tumors alone but egg's mammary tumor seems to be responsive because not only has it not grown, but on top of that, it even seemed to shrink some initially. Now, benign mammary tumors won't always respond to cabergoline, but even if they do, they tend to not really shrink much. It's more of a situation where they stop growing. Occasionally, you will see them shrink some, but it's not super common for it to be reduced a lot. So I was pretty pleased that egg's mammary tumor did seem to reduce some from about the size of a grape to the size of a pea. Uh, although it has not reduced beyond that and it's been a few months at this point so I don't think it will but it also hasn't grown at all which is really important because that was the main thing I was worried about and the main reason I was considering surgery because memory tumors can grow pretty fast. Uh, I have seen some that have grown pretty slow, but even so, after a few months, they typically have you know doubled in size several times. So eggs not having grown at all and even having reduced some in the beginning is really good. Anyways, the main point of this video, other than to update you on egg, was just kind of to alert people to the fact that certain benign tumors in rats can be treated with drugs. You don't always have to get them removed, and if they are non-removable, there are still some options out there to try. Uh, personally, like I said, I have never tried cabergoline on a rat before just for mammary tumors, so this has been a pretty good first experience with it. And honestly, I've been pretty happy with my decision not to get egg surgery. I do think she would have done just fine under it. Uh, she is a little bit prone to being sneezy, so her respiratory system isn't perfect. Um, but I do think she would have done pretty well because she hasn't had any major health issues. And even though she is a little bit sneezy, I never really saw that progress into anything. So I don't think she has like lung scarring or anything like that. Um, but even so, I always like to avoid surgery when possible. And in Egg's case, because we caught the tumor so early when it was so small and we put her on cabergoline then and the tumor was responsive, uh, we really haven't had to get it removed because it hasn't grown and it's not getting in the way of her movement at all. Now, of course, the downside to any sort of medication like this is that it does have to be given for the entire life of your rat. So once you start them on it, you have them on it for the rest of their life, unless you choose to get the tumor removed. 
Uh, and even then some people will keep the rat on it just to try and prevent future tumor growths. But it's really not too bad of a deal, especially if your rat is already quite old. In Egg's case, she was nearly two years old when she started this and she's now over two years old. And because rats unfortunately only live two to two and a half years on average, if your rat is on the older side, it might be worth trying them on some sort of medication like this first before surgery, uh, especially if they are not considered a good surgery candidate. Now this isn't me saying that I'm never going to get surgery on a rat for mammary tumors again, because I definitely will. Um, especially if my rats are young when they develop mammary tumors, I feel it's best to remove them so they're not on a medication for the rest of their life if I can help it. Uh, plus, you know, you don't know if cabergoline is going to be effective or not. And surgery, on the other hand, is typically very effective, especially if done when the tumor is small. Uh, but that being said, I do like having options, especially for my older rats and especially for rats who aren't good surgery candidates. So I'm very glad that I tried this out with Egg and I'm glad she's done so well on it. And even though she doesn't exactly like the taste of Capricoline, uh, unfortunately that's just a problem that rats have in general. They don't tend to like the taste of it. Um, but even though she doesn't like the taste, she is pretty good about taking it. And overall, it really hasn't been too stressful giving it to her. And like I mentioned, it was a lot more cost effective than like surgery typically is. So yeah, I've been pretty happy with my experience trying this out with Egg. And I'm very glad to see her do so well and just continue to do so well even after it's been a few months. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, hopefully Egg has a while left. She is an older rat, so I really don't know, but I am very glad that she has responded so well to Cabergoline so far, and I am going to be keeping her on it for the rest of her life. I mean, it's already been a few months at this point, so not exactly a new thing for us, but I haven't discussed it before on this channel, so I thought I would just talk about it some and let you guys know what's going on with Egg. Anyways, that's it for this video, uh, so I will see you guys later, and I hope you have a good day. Bye!